In this episode, I'm going to show you how to simulate an uh, Intellec 8 mod 80 or uh, Intellec Series 2 system with uh, a CPM operating system. I have the simulation already started here, but uh, I'm going to stop it and uh, show you how to run it uh, from the start. So, um, first you need uh, to download the Java System Simulator project, you will find the latest release here. I'm going to give a link in the description below. Then uh, you need to download the simulation, which you can find it in the simulations project. Uh, there is this CPM22 uh, simulation. Again, I'm going to place a link in the description. Uh, you need to download at least the simulation JSON, the image disk image and the ROM images, the hex files. Uh, but uh, you should probably download this entire folder which can be uh, downloaded uh, using a tool. Again, I'm going to place a link in the description. Or you can just download the entire project and uh, just copy this folder. So I have everything downloaded here. I have the latest uh, Java System Simulator jar. I also have uh, the CPM22 uh, simulation. And uh, finally, I uh, started a command prompt. You can see it here. Uh, so this is on my Windows machine. Uh, you see if I run dir, uh, we have the jar file and the CPM22 simulation. So uh, now I'm uh, going to start it uh, simply by running the jar. So Java minus jar, the Java system simulator jar and the CPM22 folder. Okay, so now I have all these uh, windows, I'm going to uh, arrange them a bit. So what we have here, this is a, a generic uh, terminal which uh, shows the screen uh, from the simulated computer. Uh, this is the uh, front panel, an Intellect Series 2 front panel. I'm just going to resize it and place it here. Of course, you can leave it as it is or place it somewhere else. If you have a second screen, you can place it on that. Then uh, I have here a window with uh, two floppy disk drives. The CPM image is already loaded in this uh, first drive here. And we have another window uh, called simulation control where uh, we can already see uh, some messages. So uh, the system has already started, it uh, accessed the simulated disk drive, uh, it uh, loaded the image, uh, it already uh, performed some uh, checks available in the ROM. The system is using uh, an actual uh, ROM from the Intellect Series 2 machine, so uh, the emulation does not replace the real ROM. Uh, you can see here some messages, but uh, these are normal uh, because uh, the ROM uh, first checks the available uh, memory and performs some tests. So now actually the system is uh, running. Uh, However, the original uh, Intellect Series 2 system uh, actually uh, awaits for a space to be pressed. And this is the way it uh, determines uh, on which port uh, there is a terminal attached. So I've pressed uh, space here and as you can see it's starting CPM version 2.2. Uh, there is a message here, this is again from the uh, ROM uh, saying that uh, PO is not responding and this is okay because it's not available in this simulation. PO stands for uh, parallel IO, so there is no uh, 
simulated uh, parallel device connected and uh, also the PO chip is not simulated but this does not affect uh, the CPM uh, running in this simulated machine so um, I can uh, stop by running a DIR and you can see the files from the disk uh, probably now is a good place to mention that uh, CPM stands for uh, control program uh, monitor later renamed to control program for microcomputers it was originally created in 1974 by Gary Kildall digital research and it was uh, initially designed for uh, Intel 8080 and uh, initially it was uh, developed and executed on an uh, Intel 8 development system so something uh, very similar to this simulation uh, you can uh, execute uh, of course uh, all the commands that are available in the CPM version 2.2 for example, uh, start on the A disk, showing us the bytes remaining on A. Uh, we can also see uh, characteristics of the A drive. Uh, then uh, it's possible, for example, to edit a file, let's say test.txt. Okay, so it's a new file, yes. Uh, then I'm going to press I for insert. Uh, let's say this is a text file. Uh, now I'm pressing uh, Control Z. Control Z. Uh, and uh, the command is A uh, to end this uh, file and save it on disk. So uh, if I run dir, uh, you can see it uh, was created here. I can uh, see it, type. So this is a text file. Uh, also, uh, in these uh, two drives, it's possible to load a disk image uh, on either one of the drives using these buttons. So I can uh, load in the B drive, I clicked on the B drive, I can load uh, the same uh, image. So now I can do a dir on the B drive and I see uh, the same files. Uh, however, here uh, you are missing this uh, file that was created. So why is that? Uh, if we look uh, in the folder we see we actually have an uh, overlay so uh, when you work uh, on the A drive uh, inside this simulation uh, the original image is not uh, changed uh, this is defined in the simulation.json uh, where um, uh, you can see uh, The floppy drives uh, there is this use overlay and it's actually enabled also uh, on the B drive so uh, you don't need to worry about uh, accidentally uh, deleting or uh, breaking something in the disk image uh, however if uh, you want to uh, make this uh, uh, these changes available in the disk image you can uh, access this uh, inspect disk and uh, you have the option to rewrite uh, the image so in this case the overlay will be merged uh, in the image and it will be uh, stored in the IMD file uh, however I will uh, create in the future a more detailed video about uh, disk overlays and uh, more advanced stuff I'll also create in the future uh, video about running uh, different CPM commands. This was intended just to get you started uh, with the simulation. So thank you for watching and uh, don't forget to like and subscribe and see you next time. Bye.